Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 11th of 2024 is titled AR3664 Giant Sunspot Group. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of our sun taken very recently. And on it, we see the gigantic sunspot group known as AR3664. Now this image was taken just a day ago. So this is currently on the sun. Now sunspots occur on the sun all the time. And they actually come and go with an 11 year cycle, meaning that there will be more and less sunspots over the course of an 11 year period. Individual sunspots may last a month or a couple of months. So they'll, they will come and go within that time. But right now we're at a peak of sunspots. And when we get more activity, sometimes we do get larger sunspots such as this one. Now this sunspot group is actually large enough to be visible to the naked eye meaning that if you have say example the eclipse glasses for the eclipse of last month that you would be able to look at the sun and see this group you would actually be able to see a dark splotch on the surface of the sun. Now the act what is what happens in an active region like this? Well, this is the site of many things like solar flares and coronal mass ejections. And those are uh, very violent storms of material being thrown off the sun and could be directed toward Earth. And if they happen to come in Earth's direction, they can cause us some difficulty. Actually, they can cause problems with satellites. They can distort the Earth's atmosphere with their energy. And they can actually affect the electrical power grid. Now, if a really strong storm were to hit, uh, really strong what we call coronal mass ejection, that could cause very significant damage. And that would have to strike Earth directly for it to be that that intense. But that has happened in the past back in the 1850s. And at that point, the uh, energy was enough to cause sparks in the telegraph lines. So it could raise havoc with modern electronic equipment, including frying some equipment if the storm were intense enough and directed straight at Earth. However, we do have to remember that the likelihood of any giving, given flare uh, striking Earth directly is very small because of the very large distance around the solar system. It would have to come directly toward Earth and it would be much easier to miss Earth than to hit it. Now, one of the other things associated with the sunspot groups are increased auroral activity. So the aurora will become stronger because there are more charged particles coming from the sun that will strike Earth's atmosphere. And they will also be visible at lower latitudes. Normally, we see them only at very high latitudes. But now they'll be down to more temperate latitudes. And that's part of that distortion effect that occurs. And it will distort Earth's magnetic field and therefore be able to squeeze in a little lower latitudes. So things in say the central United States would be able to see start begin to see some aurora if the activity is intense enough. And recently we have been able to see some aurora a little bit lower latitudes than normally seen. So something to watch for as this gr big sunspot group passes across the surface of the sun. So that was our picture of the day for May 11th of 2024. It was titled AR3664 Giant Sunspot Group. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. Preview to be active sky. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.